Did um, you have both parents in your life? I didn't. Unfortunately, my my father passed away when I was eight. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, but he was born in 1933. So oh he wow, was an older man. He had me when he was about about 50. Oh wow. Um, but yeah, he passed away when I was young. But I did have my mom. What did they do for a living? My mom was like a nurse part time. I mean, she was trying to you know figure it out. I mean, we lived on like welfare and yeah. all that stuff like that. My dad was. In the Air Force, oh, he good had for an him. art gallery. Um, oh wow, diverse! Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was also a pimp at one point. Um, but yeah, he was—he <laughs> like was actually like a history set. Like he was the first African American. I mean, he—he—he's half white, half African American. But he was the first African American air policeman in London. Oh like, wow, you know, like that. Yeah, so that's amazing. Like he's, he he lived a uh, fucking phenomenally crazy life. It sounds like know? it. Um, but. He was there for me, you know, as a kid, and I definitely have fond memories of him, even though my mom and him were not together. Right. I was the youngest. I'm the youngest of 11. Oh, wow. They had, they, I'm the only one that they collaborated on. Um, <laughs> so, you were a remix. <laughs> yeah, I was a remix. Um, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like it's a pretty good remix, though. Yeah. Like, it's a pretty good remix. Uh, <laughs> came together well. Yeah. Um, so you had 10 older brothers and sisters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were on both your mom and dad's side. My, 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 my dad's older than my grandma. And my oldest brother's older than my mom. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy, right? Yeah. But my dad was like 25 years older than my mom or something like that. So, wow. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, So, yeah, it was very interesting. But so, I was, you're probably not close with those siblings I wasn't much. close with my older ones. I was closer with my mom's side, though. I grew up with all of them in the same household. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's great. So like five of us in the same household. Oh, that's a big side. house. Yeah, it was. And the oldest, my oldest on my mom's side is 10 years older than me. So, it's like 10. Sure. Wow. That's crazy. I feel like that would be a handful for your mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very much a handful. I mean, you single mom, working. But she was, like, very religious, so I was very thankful for that growing up in a sense that like I didn't have to have a mom who was out there skanking it up oh, <laughs> like sure, you know yeah, yeah. like doing drugs what religion like are we that. talking uh she was evangelical and then non-denominational but like my grandma mom like my grandma had her own church she was a pastor oh wow so I like lived in church yeah uh, and then my father's side are Jehovah's Witnesses so oh, I was like on the I was back and forth from the kingdom hall <laughs> and regular churches a lot. Yeah, you were a <laughs> religious ton. family. It oh, sounds like. yeah, very, very much. So, I mean, like, I was probably in church five times a week. Wow. Yeah, it was like ridiculous amount <laughs> of church. But that's why, like, whenever I do improv scenes, I'm like, oh, church come up. Hey, I got this shit. Hey, <laughs> let's talk about the Bible. I'm like, uh, my pastor wrote, you got to see me play a pastor. It's did really you like great. sing and stuff? Were you active oh, or were no. you kind of I begrudgingly did all there? I the acting, like whenever they have like church plays and stuff. Oh, that sure. Was, like, when I first got my acting bug. Yeah. Like, that in church when I was like four or five. What were you playing? Like I would play like uh, King Moses' Herod? son oh, nice. or something like that. Or Did Moses have a son? I don't, I don't know, know if Moses had a son. I don't know. <laughs> but like Isaac's son, you know, a, a son of a biblical person. <laughs> yeah, Moses had a brother. I don't, I don't remember if he had a son. I don't remember if he had a son. Um, but yeah, I would play like roles like that, and then and you enjoyed that. That was something you wanted was to do. Well, I I saw my brothers and sisters, my closest brother and sister to me, Janika and Rani, they were doing art at this place called the soft shore culture center okay so they were doing like music and acting oh, wow. and stuff when i was like three and four so i was watching that and being like i want to do that yeah, yeah and uh come to find out later in life like craig robinson's mom was a part of that like she oh was fun i know instructor oh cool and stuff like that uh, there and whatnot um so that's kind of what got me started So you were essentially looking up to your brothers and sisters yeah. and following in their footsteps yeah basically like i do with my brother's bowl cut essentially oh <laughs> That's nice. That's very nice. It was great. A great part down the middle. It was fantastic. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> did you find you excelled at that right away? Did you have the personality fit I, for a performer? Yeah, I thought I did pretty good. Uh, I think I realized I was pretty good. I mean, I think I realized like this is like oh this I, this is awesome. It was when I was like seven. I was Martin Luther King at my school. Oh, damn. And I had to do the I Have a Dream speech. What a solid and, like, role. like, everyone... I got, like, a standing ovation. Woo! Because, like, I... I um I used to be very good at imitating people like Jim Carrey, like when the living color and living color is really what pushed my, I got to act. I want to be in comedy, yeah. like watching Jim Carrey <laughs> do his thing. And obviously Will Smith and stuff like that. But really in living color, watching Jim Carrey, I would emulate every character he did. Oh, that's so great. With the Martin Luther King thing. I was like, Oh, I was listening to him. I was like, Oh yeah, I could do that. And I was like, and I have a dream. And I, like as this little kid. And then if people were like, go 
baby. Oh, he's so good. Oh. And I'm like, oh my God. I like that feeling. <laughs> I like black women saying I'm good. <laughs> So that's uh, amazing. <laughs> so you were pretty outgoing because I feel like you could easily be overlooked as the youngest, youngest of 11. Yeah, essentially. I was a pretty outgoing kid. Um, but I think really my core group of friends are really what helped me survive childhood and really love it. You but know? you mentioned you didn't meet them until you were like nine. nine yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, up like until that grade. point, you were still outgoing. I was still a pretty and, outgoing kid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I liked having uh, that's fun, you know, I Run! I used to run. Uh, I was very outgoing in such that I would run out the house butt naked with a raccoon hat on when I was three or four years old, just to get on the slides out in the, pro- in the projects. I'm in the projects like the, I'll be at the door, no one looks, and I'll just doom. I'm just gone to get on the slides, and then you're naked on the slides. So I was like, dude, 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 dude. but my brother was like, man, like get him, get him, he's gone, he's gone. I just be running butt naked to the slide, but. Yeah, that was I was an outgoing kid. Clearly, that's amazing. <laughs>